Hey folks, Father Sanpati from CG Virus here. Uh, today we're going to see the light trap nodes for Blender Compositor, extra nodes. So what you can do is basically you can just download the zip file from here and then go here and uh, extract it. So you'll find uh, three nodes, uh, actually three Blender files here now. So <coughs> this one is called Compositing uh, Compositor Extra Node All. So that means uh, we are, uh, you know, including all our nodes here. So from now on, I will use this one. Also, you will get the individual nodes here. So let's get it started. And yep. So let's fire up Blender 2.8. And let's go to Compositing Custom. Let's see Use Nodes. Uh, we don't need this guy today, so yeah. All right. So let's delete this render layer and uh, let's see things. <coughs> I'm going to import a PNG file here, simple PNG file. So this one, okay. And uh, let's go to the color, man color management and uh, let's go for standard, okay. And also, we are going for a uh, sky, uh, random background, background sky. So there it is. So uh, what we want to do is basically we want to uh, create a light trap overlay. So let's append the files first. So press F4, append, and uh, let's go to the desktop. And here is these three notes. So I'm going for all notes and uh, we're going to node tree and there is light trap okay and also there is film grain so uh, if you want to do in production if you are in Russian production quite obviously you can press alt uh, press a to select all and uh, import everything all at once but for this guy oops let's see it's for append um, yeah so Let's go here, Shift A, and uh, light trap. Okay, so this is our basic light trap. So um, let's discuss things. So uh, this is the BG. That means the background. So let's connect it here, and let's see the output. Yeah, and uh, this is the foreground element. That is our Susan. So I'm just going to FG color, and uh, this is the alpha of FG okay foreground so I'm going for a foreground here yeah. okay you can already see uh, the light traps here okay uh, if I go to extreme I can see the diffusion let's increase it yeah something like that okay so the diffusion is here okay so uh, now let's discuss uh, the things uh, the first thing is uh, diffusion. So what does it do is basically, you know, it creates the basic wrap around the object around the alpha. Okay, so this is uh, this is the thing. So I'm going for ten. And the choke diffusion. The choke diffusion. What does it do is basically it chokes up or chokes down. Okay, the alpha. Uh, your uh, uh, you know the light trap alpha okay so you can do it like that as well not a problem so from our experiment what we have seen that uh, 10 and 50 uh, the defaults are pretty much fine here and the intensity intensity is it creates a uh, outer glow and something like that okay so intensity uh, something like uh, if you have a sunset uh, position and you have some hair split um, then uh, or far uh, then this intensity may work really fine for you okay so this is the intensity okay so uh, by default intensity is one that means zero okay so something like that and also we have alpha multiply so why we are using that if I go to zero you will see the alpha so that means it is a post multiply alpha so if you're using PNG uh, non EXR file you should uh, create an alpha multiply one okay if you are using a EXR file you can disable the zero uh, you know disable the post multiply alpha okay so this is it simple very simple and yeah 
and uh, this one is output and this one is FG okay FG only that means you know if you don't want to see the background you can go for foreground as well okay that's it simple and yeah this is actually it so use it with your flavor and uh, with your project requirements okay so light trap is basically a very slight a very slight effect uh, you should not use it very much extremely uh, as always uh, like just like noise you know and uh, the yeah the note setup is uh, pretty much uh, not pretty much but uh, somewhat uh, complicated so if you want to see it let's switch so I'm coming back all right so first what we need to do is basically to create this thing we need to manipulate the alpha here so for this we are going for an invert node here invert y caps lock on yep and uh, then we are going for a blur node oops not this one blur yeah here we go we're going to use Gaussian blur with 50 I have uh, turned on open seal it will be faster okay and uh, other things are pretty much fine here uh, so for now uh, what we're going to do is basically we're going for a um, multiply note so sorry not uh, multiply mix note and we're going to mix it as a multiply and we're going to multiply it with this source foreground that is the alpha okay this guy there we go now we're seeing our light wrap the traditional light wrap okay so things are all done actually so now we're going to enhance it a little bit um, first of all we're going for a mix note again and uh, this time what we're going to do is basically we're going for um, yeah we're going for a background image so this is the background and uh, it should be in back here yeah? and uh, this should be a foreground image so this is our foreground image so I'm just going for this top here yeah? now we're going for this multiply that is the alpha we're going to factor it here there we go now you'll see the your light trap okay all right so done now um, we're going for an alpha over let's um this should be the back and uh, this should be the top and here we go oops mm, let me see yeah it will be swapped there we go now we are seeing our basic thing now the thing is if we are using um non exr that means you know this is the png file we have so if we are using a non exr file let's oops mm, shift there we go okay so uh, non exr file it will give you something like this uh, um, pre uh, you know alpha problem so we need to solve it with uh, pre multiply uh, pre uh, pre multiplied alpha so if you are using a exr this is the exr so if we go here it will be already you know gone so yeah so for exr we need some parameter and for PNG we need some parameter so this is a problem so what we're going to do here is basically we're going to create a multiply mix node and we're going to multiply it so let's see how to do it is basically let's go here shift A and uh, let's go for um, mix node again there we go and I'm going to connect it here okay let's not jam it you can see uh, how messy it become okay so uh, this is here so I'm going for a multiply okay and now we're going to multiply it with alpha there we go now you're seeing the perfect image so when uh, ever you're using a exr you need to zero it and when you're using a png non exr you need to one it okay so that is it okay so most of the things are all right so now let's create the light 
to create the light pass what we can do is basically go to the mix node here you can see this mix node it is connected with the BG so what we can do is basically we can create a uh, another mix node and we can connect it here go for add and yeah go for add and uh, connect it twice okay so now we are getting our light okay so what we can do is basically um, we need to clamp it so you can use this clamp okay it will clamp the whiteness it has okay so it will not be over one that means this okay let me see <laughs> uh, we did alpha over <laughs> it should be clamp yeah there we go now it's clamp yeah now the value is one okay before clamp the value was I don't know skyrocketing so yeah let's clamp it all right so now everything is almost done um, let's clean it up a little bit so press shift right click to add a route node here and shift right click add a route oops shift right click add a route node in hmm. okay yep that's it and uh, other things are more or less fine hmm did we miss it miss something yeah we miss the chalk chalk so to choking for choking we need uh, another math note and mm, yeah math note and we need multiply to create some choking environment here and to create a good choke we should use another multiply shifty to unit uh, to create the decimal unit so something like point zero, uh, zero point zero 0.01 okay so we will have a uh, more slider for you know value more control for the value which is good so I'm going to uh, go, go for a default value of uh, I think it was 50 yeah and uh, for these this one we are also going for a shift D multiply and we're going to make a point one to uh, this is uh, we use this thing uh, for you know multiplied by point one that means you know uh, the decimal point will be much more bigger so uh, we will have uh, more room to play with the slider here okay and it should be 10 there we go 10 50 yep that's it so that was our setup actually then what we did is basically pretty much uh, things like here uh, we did it like this and then group it there we go and uh, we change some parameters here so this one is called hmm. okay let's go here first this one uh, let's go to the item uh, to let me see yeah this one should be output or something like that and another one would be this guy uh, hmm. this one let me see I'm not sure nope not this one another one was yeah this one there you go there you go okay so we named it uh, something like uh, FG only something like that FG only and uh, the backgrounds the background uh, this was done with let me see yeah so this one was FG alpha FG alpha uh, this one is let me see that there we go okay okay so the input one should be here at top so this one is FG and by convention BG is at top so this should be BG there we go okay so BG FG alpha that is good that is good 
okay so then we had something like a diffusion parameter so this one should be the diffusion diffusion and this one is choke so like that another one was let me see intensity 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 was from this okay hmm intensity yeah similar to that okay so these are the params i think uh, this is it fg alpha fg yeah diffusion choke yep yep these are all right and uh, then we went for some parameter defaults something like let me see uh hmm i have uh this node system is pretty much huge so let me see that okay yeah so diffusion value diffusion value was uh default was 10 max was 100 and min was 0 choke let me see choke value was 50 or uh, 0 min 0 max 100 intensity uh, was default value 1 ah oh, we need something else let me say it first so min was 1 and max was 10 we forgot about the most important part that is the alpha okay and this factor it should be alpha prime alpha multiply so like that okay so that's it and uh, the default value was let me see default value was 1 and uh, minimum 0 max 1 that's good yeah that's it So now if we go to the EXR file here yeah. let's collect this and let's connect this yep you can see the I don't know difference okay so when you're using EXR disable alpha multiply when you're using PNG enable alpha multiply yep that's it Thanks for watching. I'm Father Sputik from City Virus here. We're going to see you next time. Bye bye.